Welcome Home Franklin is amazing. This is the latest Snoopy Presents film. It was released this year, 2024. In fact, it was released today and it's directed by Raymond S. Percy. I can't provide much information about the voice cast because IMDb is very, very vague at the moment. But I will just say the voice acting was absolutely brilliant. The animation quality is stunning. The music is great and the messages in this are beautiful. And I will in a moment go into Quite a bit of spoiler heavy detail and I will go through it mostly chronologically and share some thoughts in the order that I made the notes but to sum up very briefly if you've been considering watching this it's absolutely worth it. I'm a big fan of the Snoopy Presents films. I actually reactivated my Apple TV subscription just for the purpose of watching this and it was completely worth it. I absolutely adored it. Great animation, wonderful introduction to the character of Franklin, whose full name is Franklin Armstrong. I actually learned something. I didn't actually know his full name until now. So that was really interesting. And it's a beautiful film with quite a few different messages. There are a lot of important things shared. And ultimately, it looks at the strength of friendship, the importance of friendship, and also what being a friend means. And it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I will now go through various things that happen and share some thoughts, as I said, pretty much chronologically. So big, big spoilers from now. And it starts off with Franklin sharing some information about himself, the fact that his father is in the military and he moves around a lot. So straight away, there is an element of relatability for some people. I know a lot of people have parents in the military and they do have to move around a lot. So if you can relate to Franklin in that aspect, I think that's going to be a pretty powerful thing. And he has this notebook that gives him tips on making friends, which I thought was a really fun idea. And he goes around trying to make friends. And this is a really fun way to introduce various other Peanuts characters. He meets Linus and Linus is currently shining his pumpkins. Uh, I love the great pumpkin, so that part of it made me so happy. He meets Lucy. It doesn't really go according to plan. He meets Pigpen and Snoopy. The moment with Snoopy, I thought, was very sweet. And then cut to a scene at the beach, and I love that. One of the, well, I was going to say one of the great things about this, but one of the many great things about this is that we explore quite a quite a wide variety of locations. We travel quite a distance and that means that the backdrops are always different and there's always something to look at in each scene and I found that to be really well done and really impressive. We're not at the beach for too long but it does give him an introduction to Charlie Brown and straight away things go off quite well because Charlie Brown asks him to come and see his sandcastle which I thought was rather sweet but then Charlie Brown has to go home and Franklin still hasn't really made any friends. But then, soon after that, Shermie smashes a cart and the characters all learn about the upcoming soapbox derby. And they start to pair off and, of course, we see other characters like Peppermint Patty and Marcy and Charlie Brown hasn't got anybody to pair up with and neither does Franklin. So they decide to pair up together. And the majority of the film is, first of all, about them making their cart for the derby and then racing in it. And I think this is great for several reasons. One, again, there's an element of relatability. I can imagine, and I say imagine only because soapbox derbies are not a thing in the UK, but I imagine that a lot of children do bond over making carts in the States if they are still a thing. I imagine they are. And doing a practical activity is a really great way to get somebody to open up. So while they're busy with their hands, working on the cart together, it allows them to just let the conversation flow. And by doing that, we get to learn a lot about Franklin and his history. And of course, Franklin in turn learns a little bit about Charlie Brown. Doing something practical together is a great way to get people to open up. And this is absolutely something we see as they're preparing this cart and making it... Uh, work basically I don't fully understand what I'm talking about I'll be honest I've never made a soapbox derby car but it was great fun to watch and Franklin puts on a record we have some really great music but then they have a fight they have a fight when they're testing it out and this will come up again a little bit later on and I'll mention one of the messages that we get there but I thought it was I wasn't I didn't expect them to have a fight an argument quite so soon but it also feels quite realistic that when you do spend so much time with somebody even a new friend eventually 
you're not going to get along perfectly, but it's a very realistic representation of what friendship can be like, particularly for young children where their emotions are very much on the surface. But nevertheless, they make up very quickly and we have the race. And the race is beautifully animated. I also want to praise it for not taking up too much time because a lot of films and TV shows, when they have a race then it it tends to take up a lot of time and it gets boring because not much happens. You're just watching people race. And if you're not into that kind of thing, I'm not, then it can get quite stale. But it lasted, I would say, the perfect amount of time. Enough time for us to get a feel of what the race was like and to get a little bit emotionally invested in who's going to win without it seeming a little bit repetitive. So that was done really, really well. And ultimately what happens is they have the chance to win. They are in the lead, but Sally accidentally does something that means this cart is rolling onto the track and Franklin, kind of against Charlie Brown's wishes, ends up smashing the cart, their their cart, into this cart and sending themselves flying, but allowing the other racers to have this clear path so they can go ahead and win. And this is where we get the second fight. And they they start to argue because Charlie Brown didn't want that. But Franklin's also quite upset because on the one hand, he did this great thing to allow the other racers to carry on without crashing into this runaway cart. But he's also disappointed because he thought that if they'd won, people would like him. And he, they have a little heart to heart. And it's, it's really beautifully done and very eye-opening about their different perspectives and also allowing Charlie Brown to understand Franklin's motivations. Communication is definitely key here. And they decide to carry on with the race, even though their car is now in bits. And there's this beautiful moment where everybody turns around to see them coming down the track and Marcy starts to clap and everybody begins to cheer. And we can just see in Franklin's face the emotions of feeling finally like like he fits in because they're cheering for him. They're cheering for him and Charlie Brown. And it's it, it was a little bit emotional. And it carried on getting a little bit emotional after that because Franklin finally fits in and he reveals his father has taken a new job in the town. So he gets to stay. And we have this gorgeous, quite high energy scene in the pizza restaurant where there are all of the characters there. Snoopy is leaning against the jukebox. It's vibrant and brightly coloured and the music is great and everybody's happy. And it's just so gorgeous and it's so beautiful. And it was it was a little bit emotional and I, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. We also have a beautiful quote right at the end. It's not the final thing we see, but pretty much one of the final things. Uh, And the quote is, you know you found your home when you're surrounded by good friends. And I thought that was so beautiful. And there are various other things throughout this that highlight what friendship really is. There is another quote. I I didn't write it down, so I'm paraphrasing. But it's to the effect of friendship is about getting through the rough times together. Which is, of course, what Charlie Brown and Franklin did when they're go when they're go-kart or soapbox cart completely fell apart but they carried on they persevered they worked together to get over that finish line and it's just beautiful so it's a lovely film about friendship but it's also a lovely introduction to the character of franklin and i think it adds more it definitely will add more to any other charlie brown films or cartoons that i watch whenever we see the character of franklin i'm going to remember this and it's certainly very memorable i really thoroughly enjoyed it if you're a charlie brown fan a peanuts fan it's definitely worth watching welcome home franklin has an awful lot to offer and it delivers it so well it's absolutely beautiful